Yo, what up? My name is Derek, and today I'm going to talk about what is the best Windows 10 ISO. I'm just kind of making a part two video of this. Um, I also want to talk about a couple other things, why I haven't, I've been gone for a couple of days, a couple of, the support that I've been getting on my channel, um, what is the best custom Windows, Windows 10 ISO. I'm going to talk about and explain that. Because I got a lot of questions about that. Um, I also have a couple questions for you guys too after that and then I'll be the video. So first of all, this is like I said, this is part two of the video that I that blew up two weeks ago. It was so nice. I love it. I love seeing videos blow up. It's, it's just so nice, especially that type of video. That, I mean, that, that honestly, when I uploaded that video and recorded that video, I didn't think it was going to do anything. Um, but seeing that people have posted on their discords and stuff and people have been seeing it and it's like number one in the search, it's, it's so nice. Um, but let's talk about why I've been gone for a couple days. So I have, I don't think I, upload, I think I, last time I uploaded was last Friday, I think. Not even uploaded then. I remember recording a video, I think, on Friday that I didn't upload. It was Fortnite Stretch Res that I'm going to upload, and I'll have it upload probably tomorrow. Um, but I've been just busy. Um, you know, Saturday and Sunday, I've been working with, I worked with my dad doing, uh, um, we were fixing our grass. Um, Sunday, I watched the Vikings game, which was a disappointment, like always. Um, and then I also kind of was sick on Sunday too. I had to pretty much the flu for the, like three, four hours in the morning. And then I went back outside and helped my dad. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of busy. I haven't really been able to work on a video. I usually don't record videos though when my parents are home. They're usually, usually I only record videos on the weekdays. Um, so if you see that, I also, if you guys may have noticed, probably didn't notice this, but I redid all of my artwork on all of my channels. So I have a brand new logo brand new channel on my youtube and my twitter on my dis on my twitch on everything and i now that i think about it i haven't updated my discord yet that but the discord really is not big of a deal if you guys want to check out the discord i think it's in links in the uh, it might be in the description i'm not sure if you guys want it i can just put put in the description or something um but that is uh what i've been working on i've been working on all that stuff for actually i worked on my alerts and stuff on friday and a couple other things I want to talk about. Now, I know this is a little bit sidetracked. This may not be a custom Windows 10 ISO video that you guys want, but I'll put timestamps so you guys can skip ahead of this stuff, so just don't worry about it. Um, but I also worked on my stream stuff. So what I mean by stream stuff, I have my whole like a whole profile and whole scene selection. I, I, I've got a whole new alert section, and it actually looks really clean. I have a, set in, a setting, so I'm thinking about this. So I'm going to wake up probably like 7 o'clock. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that, but... Wake up at seven o'clock, do stuff, start streaming at like nine, nine thirty, maybe ten o'clock, and I stream till two o'clock. Get off at two, take a little take like a four hour break, five hour break, come back at like six or seven o'clock, and then stream from like seven to like eleven. Now keep in mind those are all central times, so if you live in the other areas, just like convert that if you really want to walk, come watch my stream. What if I like when I stream, I'm not gonna be streaming probably like optimizations or anything. I'll probably be streaming games like Fortnite Valorant or any other game I want to play, depending on how I feel. Um I don't really like playing games solo, so we'll see how that works. I might have to just play solo or single player games until my friends get online. Because Ethan, unfortunately, well, he's in college and he doesn't have his computer because his parents. So um, we have to wait till like Thanksgiving, so it's going to take a while. But otherwise, that's pretty much the that part. The next part is the amazing support on my channel so far. It's been, it's honestly, it's amazing. The subscribers that I'm getting, the views that I'm getting, it's just, it's so nice. Um, especially going on Discord. And uh, actually, I went on my channel analytics one day, and I was looking through it and seeing like, okay, this video is blowing up. But how is it getting blown up, right? So I checked external sources, and it says Discord. I'm like, huh, I wonder if people are just sending the link to their friends. And I'm like, no, I, there's no way 41% of that is that. So then I think about it. It's like maybe, maybe these Discord servers that have custom Windows and ISOs, maybe they – Put the video in like the comments. I go on GGOS, I look it up in the, in the search bar, and I find two video. Two of my videos are posted. Well, not two of my videos. The video that I posted about the custom ISOs was uploaded twice on there. Where the link was, and then Nexus, one of the I think I don't know if it's the owner. I think it's the owner of the ne of the Nexus OS or one of the one of the owners of that. Um, he posted in the announcement section, which is so cool. I love that. Um, it's actually that's honestly so nice. Um, I just, I don't know, it's really cool. This community, I just feel like this community is very small and loyal and very just awesome community. Um, but yeah, besides that, I think it's really cool. The next thing I want to talk about is literally what is the best custom Windows 10 ISO. I got a lot of comments on my last video explaining, well, you didn't really tell me what your custom, like what the best one is. And I'm like, well, 
it's kind of personal preference. And I'm still going to stand by that. It is personal preference because when you think about these ISOs, some of them are better for privacy. Some of them are better for FPS. Some of them are better for latency. Some of them are, have like these custom toolboxes like Ghost Factory and Nexus. They have toolboxes that allow you to do a lot more stuff. And that's why I love those ones. Um, I don't like Nexus or not Nexus. I don't like um, Ghost Spectre because Ghost Spectre is uh, not the greatest. People want to talk about it mainstream and I don't like that. I, I hate when there's a bunch of videos. Like you look up custom Windows and ISOs for gaming and I think probably at least the top like 10 videos are probably all Ghost Spectre because Ghost Spectre for some reason is like out there more often. Like you look at these big, like I'm talking like a million subscribers type channels. Like these guys, like I'm talking like these guys are big channels that are making these videos. And they're uploading them about Ghost Spectre. And I don't really like it, but it's whatever. Nothing you can really do about it. I'm the one that's not doing that stuff. There's another guy on YouTube that compares ISOs because I'm Windows and ISOs out there, but I forgot his name. Um, but yeah, the best one that I think for gaming is GGOS. Now, in the video that I made, I was on I was using RevOS or Revision. And some of the comments is like, dude, GGOS is better. And so what I did is I reinstalled Windows a couple days after I read that using ggos and i've been using it for about a couple weeks now and it isn't that bad it, there's i mean it's hard to tell difference it's really just placebo effect but i feel like it is a little bit snappier there's definitely a lower latency definitely better fps because i definitely can feel the better latency especially when a lower latency especially if i can go on latency mod and see the lower latency um but yeah there's a ton of other custom isos out there so i'm not i'm not saying ggos is for sure the best one out there like for sure because this next question will kind of answer that too. Um, the question for you guys is, should I compare different Windows 10 ISOs using like a benchmark? You know, you look on YouTube and you can find a bunch of benchmarks for your different CPU, GPUs, RAM, blah, blah, blah. You can find benchmarks for them. Now, I'm not going to do a, a specific benchmark like that. I don't know how to do it like that. I also don't do on, because I don't have like a capture card. Like these guys have capture cards. They have second computers, so they can easily just record without any lo like lossless, you know, recording. So I don't really want to do that because I'm going to have, I'm probably going to lose like 20 frames or 10 frames or something doing it. So I don't really want to test like that. I would rather just show you guys the results. Now there's a thing called Cat, Cat Frame X, which does like a benchmark. I think it's what Gamers Nexus uses when he does his benchmarks. So I could easily just use that test for, well, it has an automatic timer end there. So I think it's a minute. I could go in the benchmark in each one of these games, which I'm thinking about. Oh, well, first of all, okay. So I have the four iOSs or not iOSs, ISOs that I want to use. So we have Revo, we have Revive, Revo. I always call it Revo. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'm just going to call it Revision. I don't know. It's kind of hard to stick with that. We have Revision, Ghost Spectre, GGOS, and Nexus LightOS. Those are the four right there. And there's two more that I go that I am on their Discords because I found them. Fox OS and Atlas OS. People have been saying those are pretty good too because they're built by tweakers, but I think all these are pretty much built by tweakers. But they say those are pretty good too. So I'll definitely test those out when I do my benchmark. If I do the benchmark, I just want to know in the comments if I should make these. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I would wouldn't mind making these videos. Um, but I'm thinking about adding maybe two more. I'd rather do I'd I kind of want to do a solid eight ISOs to compare. Um instead of like six we'll see though um and then my final question is what games should i benchmark um i'm thinking of currently fortnite apex legends valorant and maybe rust you know maybe warzone maybe vanguard i have the beta but it ends in two days so if i test in a couple of days i won't be able to test them and it's really no point because the beta's fps is going to be a lot different than what the actual game's fps is going to be so it's not really a point of making that type of video. Um, I could easily look through Steam libraries. Now, I don't have every game in the world, and I can't buy every other game in the world because I'm not really you know, that rich. But just let me know in the comments what videos I should test in terms of uh, what games you want to see. Um, I might be able to upload them. I might be able to you know put them out there. Um, but uh, that video probably, I'm thinking Friday is when I'm going to get that uploaded because I think after I record this video, I'm going to render this video, I'm going to edit this video, blah, 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 and upload it. Uh, I have it uploaded here by 2 um and then probably have the Fortnite stretch res be uploaded tomorrow um but i might be able to test all of them today depending on i'm going to try to look for two more isos somebody commented on my other video or actually i commented on the custom windows and iso which is thanking you guys for the support and somebody responded to that saying i got a custom windows and iso thing is this is what i want to say right now certain custom windows and isos 
might have viruses. And that's why I'm a little skeptical of even testing other Windows 10 ISOs because I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be, they have a virus on them or if they have like some type of malware on them. I don't want to deal with that type of stuff. So I might have to figure out a way to test that, see if there's, you know, really a virus or just see if other people have tested it and see if it's good. Uh, I know I'm trusting these other websites and or these other Discord and website ISOs and stuff like that. And they're just like, you know, I'm just going for it. But they have more recognition by a lot, a lot of reviews and people. So I kind of, it makes more sense. Um, but yeah, those questions, just answer those questions if you guys want to. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. So like I said, tomorrow's going to be Fortnite stretch video, stretch res video, probably. And then Friday, I'll probably upload the uh, benchmark for this video. So um, that'll be one of the things. It'll be part three, I guess you could say to this. And it'll probably be the final part. Um, unless I can find a couple more custom Windows I don't really feel like doing that. Honestly, though, it takes so long to make these videos and these videos to to test these because um, you have to reinstall Windows and do all this stuff. And I and what I try to do is I like to back up my stuff before I reinstall Windows so that I don't have to reinstall everything on my computer again because that takes forever and I hate doing it. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video and uh, peace out.